Welcome again to yet another installment of New Product Friday with your host, Robert Cowan of SparkFun. We've got a few new products this week and even a demo, so let's see what we've got. So first up, we've got a new fingerprint scanner. This fingerprint scanner comes from ADH Tech, who makes some of our GPS modules and some other things like that. This is a pretty cool little device. Instead of the typical like slide fingerprint scanners, this one actually operates, it has a little um, camera inside that actually takes a picture of your fingerprint and then uses its own logarithm to figure out where all the fingerprint points are and saves it as a file. So you just put your finger down, takes a picture, saves it, and the other nice thing about this is it's all serial communication. So you can just transmit that over, um, you can save it as a file, you can do all sorts of different things. So you can actually save this save multiple, you can actually save up to 20 different fingerprints and then just take that off, save it to another one. So you can actually propagate those database files out to multiple different fingerprint scanners. Um, there's a lot of neat things about this. Instead of talking about it anymore, we've got a supplemental video where Nick actually runs through everything you need to know about this module, how to use it. It even comes with this really great software demo program and he's actually going to talk about that. So go ahead and check out the supplemental video for the new fingerprint scanner. So next up, we've got some really neat new breadboards. We've actually got them in four different colors. We've got a black, we've got a blue, we've got a green, and we've also got a red. Now these look very similar to the um, other mini breadboards that we had, but they have a couple small differences which make them really neat. First up, these are modular and they all kind of snap together. They have these little dovetails on the edges and you can connect them together like this. The other nice thing that we like about these is they actually have these little mounting holes and I think they're an M2 size. Check the product page for that. But you can actually use a screw and attach these down into something. So that's pretty neat. We also have these in white. I didn't have a white one here in front of me, but we have these in five total colors. And also these are the same as the other ones. They do have this little peel adhesive back on it. So you can peel this back and it has a nice sticky surface that you can adhere to. I use these a lot for really small hookup projects where I can just kind of hook everything up, put a sensor on there, test something out, and I can just kind of disconnect it and toss it to the side and then use my Arduino for something else. So they're pretty neat and we like the fact that they all connect and snap together. And moving right along, we've got a new product from Bleep Labs. This is the Bleep Drum. This comes as a kit, comes with all the pieces you see here except for the 9 volt battery. And this is a drum sequencer and noise generator. You turn it on, and you've got these four different buttons that are drums and among other things and you can actually record so you can start a loop and then you can hit your drums do all that you've got a couple adjustment knobs here for the volume phase things like that and then you've also got a noise mode that you can hold down the shift and go into a noise mode and use as a noise generator it's a pretty cool little kit and um, you can actually do quite a bit with this little thing and lastly we've got a very interesting product this is the SparkFun Red Board. The Red Board is a board that we came up with because there's a lot of different variations in Arduino boards out there, and we ultimately wanted something that had really high compatibility, was easy to use, and just kind of took the best features of all the different boards that we liked and put them all into one board. Uh, the Red Board is basically an Arduino Uno. It loads in the Arduino IDE as an Arduino Uno. It has the um, Uno OptiBoot on it, and we're actually using the FTDI in place of the Atmega 8U2. It kind of has some of the features of the old DeMille Nova, like the FTDI, but has the R3 footprint of the new Uno, and also has the OptiBoot bootloader as well. So it's kind of this um, combination of a few different boards. Um, so we want something that was ultimately a lot more compatible with a lot of different things, use the FTDI, and you know was a little bit cheaper than the standard Arduino. So if you're looking for an Arduino, check out the new Redboard. So these are the new products for this week. As always, we have more new products on the website, so go ahead and check out the rest of the post for the rest of the new products. And we'll see you again next week with even more new products.